Good morning. Good morning. Oh, we're not on. Good morning. Thank you for joining us on Wednesday, the memorial of St. Pius of Petrosilina, Padre Pio, priest. Our mass intention is for the repose of the souls of the deceased members of Our Lady of the Wayside. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me and sent me to preach the good news to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. My Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God who by singular grace give the priest Padre Pio a share in the cross of your son, and by means of his ministry renew the wonders of your mercy, grant that through his intercession we may be united constantly to the sufferings of Christ, and so both happily in the glory of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Every word of God is tested. He's a shield to those who take refuge in him, and nothing to his words, lest he reprove you, and you, will and you will be exposed as a deceiver. Two things I ask of you, that deny them not of me before I die. Put falsehood and lying far from me. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Provide me only with the food I need, lest being full, I deny you, saying, Who is the Lord? Or being in want, I steal and profane the name of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial is, Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Remove from me the way of falsehood and favor me with your law. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Your word, O Lord, endures forever. It is firm as the heavens. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. For every evil way I withhold my feet that I may keep your words. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Through your precepts I gain discernment, therefore I hate every falsehood. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Falsehood I hate and abhor, your law I love. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Please rise. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Jesus summoned the twelve and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He said to them, take nothing for the journey, neither walking stick, nor sack, nor food, nor money, and let no one take a second tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there and leave from there. And as, as, and as for those who do not welcome you when you leave that town, shake the dust from your feet in testimony against them. Then they set out and went from village to village, proclaiming the good news and curing diseases everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You may be seated. Today's saint, Padre Pio, was one of eight children in a poor peasant family in the small Italian village of Piatrelcina. His parents named him Francisco in honor of St. Francis of Assisi. Francisco was very devout even as a child, and at an early age felt drawn to the priesthood. He became a Capuchin novice at the age of 16 and took the name Pio in honor of Pope Pius V, the patron saint of his town, and after seven years of study was ordained a priest. Padre Pio's love for the Eucharist was experienced as a burning fire. He said, it would be easier for the earth to carry on without the sun than without Holy Mass. On, some, on September 20th, 1918, Padre Pio, kneeling in front of a large crucifix, likened, when he, when he likened, likened by, likened his, on September 20th, 1918, Padre Pio was kneeling in front of a large crucifix when he, like his namesake, St. Francis, received the marks of the crucifixion on his hands. The doctor who examined him could not find any natural cause for the wounds. They neither healed nor became infected, but oozed blood continually until his death 50 years later. The wounds of the stigmata were, that, were not the only mystical phenomenon experienced by Padre Pio. The blood of the stigmata had an odor described by many as like that of perfume of flowers and he had the gift of bilocation. Padre Pio had the ability to read the hearts of the penitents that came to him for confession. He heard confessions for 10 or 12 hours a day. Sin caused Padre Pio great suffering. As he realized its horror and how it offended God, often when he absolved a penitent from mortal sins, his face would be contorted in great pain. Afterward, the grave sinner who had just been absolved would sometimes feel as though they were literally walking on air or floating. When asked if the stigmata were painful, Padre Pio replied, do you think the Lord gave them to me for a decoration? So why, do you, why did the Lord give Padre Pio the stigmata? At Padre Pio's canonization mass in 2002, Pope John Paul II said, the life and mission of Padre Pio testifies that difficulties and sorrows, if accepted with love, transform themselves into a privileged journey of holiness, which opens the person toward a greater good known only to the Lord. And to, and to quote Padre Pio himself, the life of a Christian is nothing but a perpetual struggle against self, there is no flowering of the soul to the beauty of its perfection, except at the price of pain. May the example of Padre Pio help us in our sharing in the suffering of Christ, and, we may, and may we know his love and service for the poor. Padre Pio, pray for us.
please stand. Relying on God and his word as the source of all we need, we offer our prayers to the Lord. That the word of God, alive in this church, may raise up more missionaries and charity workers for the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That leaders of nations may be moved by the Holy Spirit to depend more on God than on worldly power. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are overwhelmed by difficulties may be blessed with the Lord's consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our faith community may continue to grow in faith and love as we work to spread the good news of God's kingdom on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may be given eternal refuge in Christ, with Christ in his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the, de for the deceased members of Our Lady of the Wayside, for whom this Mass is especially being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers and petitions in our Parish Book of Intentions, and for those we hold in the quiet of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. I pray also intention for my aunt, uh, Janina Safieko. She passed away last year. And I ask Jesus for special rest in peace to my aunt. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, our refuge and shelter, grant us what we need for our journey of faith. Was through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Blessed our Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed our Lord, God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine. We offer fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Thank you. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings place on your altar in commemoration of Saint Padre Pio, so that as you brought him glory, you may through the sacred mysteries grant to us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful, with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love so that your saving mysteries we may be faithful 
and their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayer sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we to give you thanks and its exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, Lord God of hosts, host. heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, the, in highest. the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the fall, so that they may become for us the blood and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Padre Pio and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as away the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb, Lamb of, of God, God you, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word and my soul, soul shall be healed.
Please be seated. Prayer of Spiritual Communion is prayed by Pope Francis. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age, says the Lord. Please stand. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from the high in all who celebrate the feast day of Saint Padre Pio that we may persevere in the integrity, the gift of faith, and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus, make me channel of your grace and healing love, that others may find life and freedom in you. Free me from all others' attachments that I may joyfully pursue the things of your heavenly kingdom. May I witness to others the joy of the gospel, both in war and deed. I would like to say thank you, Deacon Pete, for wonderful homily about my favorite saint, Padre Pio. It was wonderful remind about him today. Thank you, Mike, for make this available mass online and thank you so much our students especially Luis and sister for prepare this uh, eucharist and thank you our teachers to be with us we pray for you we support you and please pray for us and please be saved and always help each other because jesus loves you each day the lord be with you and with your spirit. My almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.